Good afternoon, I'm Faye Barker. The return of mandatory COVID tests for all passengers arriving in the UK has been described as a hammer blow by travel industry groups. From Tuesday, arrivals will need proof of a negative lateral flow or PCR test before they fly in a bid to slow the spread of the Omicron variant. In the last few minutes, the Health Security Agency has updated the total number of confirmed cases of the variant found within the UK to 250. 46. That is a rise of 86 in a single day. Lewis Warner reports. Well, our political correspondent, Carl Dinan, joins us now. So, Carl, you've been speaking to scientists in South Africa where the Omicron variant has been surging. Um, and what do they make of the government's response? Yeah, I've been talking to Professor Ian, so uh, we can't be sure what would happen to it uh, here. But the bigger picture really is that... Uh a national review into the death of Arthur Labinjo Hughes has been announced by the government. The six-year-old who was... The Energy Secretary has visited households for the first time since they lost power nine days ago during Storm Arwen. In Indonesia, rescue teams are searching for survivors after yesterday's volcano, which erupted on the island of Java. Finally, Prince William's spoken out about the emotional toll of dealing with life and death moments as an air ambulance pilot. That's it. We're back with the latest at 6.30. Until then, have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye. Good evening. I'm Faye Barker. Police are investigating after a group of men attacked a man before robbing a shop in Highgate. Four Around 100 firefighters have been tackling a fire in Walthamstow this afternoon. Huge plume. Now a woman from Greenwich who was told she wouldn't live to see her 40s has broken a Guinness World Record just in time to celebrate her milestone birthday. Jackie Scully was diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer eight years ago, but during her chemotherapy, she discovered a love of fitness. Well, today she completed a record-breaking cycling challenge. Rajiv Popat went along. Comedian Jack Whitehall's been promoting his new film in Leicester Square. Now let's take a look at the sport. Now for the weather, here's Helen. Well, that is all from the London team for now. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow with updates in Good Morning Britain. Until then, have a good evening. Bye-bye.